Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today for the Totally Techniques Block Hop, we are featuring acrylic block stamping. I love using my blocks to stamp with. I think you can get some really unique and interesting backgrounds when you, when you use this technique. I'm gonna be using the Paradise Palms bundle we could use a little paradise here in Wisconsin right about now. Um, so we're gonna make some really fun cards using this bundle and the acrylic blocks. Let's flip this camera around and get started. This stamp set has some beautiful images in it and some really funky fonts, which you guys know I love funky fonts. We've got 13 different images in the Paradise Palms stamp set. And then in the Palms dies, there are 11 different dies in here to use. So we're gonna be using some of the um, intricate ones like the palm tree and the border design for our project. I'm also going to be using the Essential Baker's Twine Pack. This comes with five different colors of Baker's Twine in it. The Double Oval Punch, the Matte Black Dots, a Memento Ink Pad, and some markers. I'll let you know the exact colors when we get there. A Spritzer and our cardstock. So we've got a scrap of crumb cake. I've got a basic white envelope. And then you're gonna notice that this is not white white. This is our shimmer white cardstock. And it has a little shimmer in it, which is absolutely beautiful. But more than that, it's a less absorbent paper than regular basic white or regular very vanilla. So it works good for a technique with water. I've also got a piece of basic white for the inside. And our card base for this card is going to be Mango Melody. And I have another color combination to show you when we're done. So I've got five and a half by eight and a half Mango Melody and we are going to fold that in half and burnish that edge good with our bone folder. Now you may notice this mat here. This is one of our piercing mats. I wrap it with printer weight paper and this is what I use to stamp on. It helps keep my desktop clean, but it gives you that little bit of cush that makes your stamping turn out really good each time. So our basic white layer here is four by five and a quarter. That's gonna be on the inside. And then I've got the shimmer white that is three and three quarters by five. A layer of basic black that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And like I said, a scrap of crumb cake and also a scrap of that shimmery white cardstock. So the first thing I'm gonna do before we start stamping here is I'm going to be using the palm tree die on black. So this is this is gonna be a layer on our card, but we can also use it to die cut out the center. We don't have to grab another piece of cardstock. And then I'm gonna be using this fun border die, and I'm going to die cut a little bit, or a little strip of this out of the crumb cake. So I'm gonna get this done, I'll be right back. Okay, here comes our, I like to call this a border. I think it's just really neat. It looks tropical. It looks like some of the, you know, paintings that you may see or carvings, wood carvings when you're, when you're in a tropical location. I'm just going to pop out all these extra little pieces. They come out nice and easy. And then our palm tree. There we go, we've just got a couple little pieces to pop out on there, isn't that pretty? Okay, put that away. I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna do our technique, which is really fun and easy. I love doing acrylic block techniques because like I said, they turn out different every time. So I've got a um, D acrylic block here. This is what we're gonna use to stamp some color on. 
And I've got two different color combinations that I used. I used the Bermuda Bay, Mossy Meadow, and the Granny Apple Green stamp and write markers. These are not alcohol markers. These are our regular stamp and write markers. And then the other color combination I'm using is Mango Melody, as well as Magenta Madness and Calypso Coral. So we're gonna start with those colors. And what I did was I took my Stampin' Write marker and I am just going to add some of this Calypso Coral to my block. And then I'm gonna come in with the Mango Melody and I'm gonna start filling in some of the blank spots here. We've got three colors to fill. So you wanna make sure you leave room or that third color, and then the Magenta Madness. And now I just come in and fill this in all over. Now I like the Magenta Madness on here the most, the best, I should say, because I've already made a couple of these as I was testing this out to see how well it would go. And so I'm gonna use more of that color on here. You can use more of whatever color you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna set this out of the way. I'm going to bring in my small grid paper. This is just gonna help protect my surface here as I'm spraying with water. So I'm going to take my spritzer. You get two of these in a pack. They're like $4. They're really inexpensive, but they're called Stampin' Spritzers. And the thing that I like about them most is that they have a really fine mist, and that's usually what we need when we're doing techniques with water. So I'm gonna spray this. You wanna get it fairly wet and then I'm going to take it and stamp it right on my shimmery white cardstock. So let me turn this upside down and this is going to just blend that color. Now how much water you put on it depends on how dark it gets. One thing I should have said is it's good to have a tissue to grab that extra excess water. And then I like to just kind of mop this up a little bit if you have a lot of water pooled there. Now you can hit this with a heat tool. You see how it's running right now? That's gonna leave some interesting looks too. So every single time you do this, it's going to be different. It's a lot of fun. And again, I just washed my, or wiped my black off. It's ready to roll for a different color. And, um, I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm going to do the other color combination for you and then we'll finish the first card and I'll show you the second card. So like I said, I wanted to use Mossy Meadow, Bermuda Bay, and Granny Apple Green. So I'm gonna start with my Bermuda Bay. This is the color that I want to be a little more dominant on my background that I'm making. So I'm using more of this on my block. And then we're gonna go with Granny Apple Green. This is a really nice color combination and it looks tropical. And, you know, well, that's what I'm kind of going for here. And then our Mossy Meadow. I'm just gonna fill in. Now remember, when you squirt that water on here, that's going to kind of mix your colors a little bit so you don't have to get too close together on all of them. Now, let me get my cardstock ready. Here we go, because I kind of lost it last time. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna put just oops, a little bit less water on here. And you wanna flip it over. And then when I put it on my cardstock, you gotta kind of push it down and let it sit here just a bit. That's kind of important too. And there we go. Grab that tissue, wipe your black off, and now I'm gonna just kind of let this color run. I'm not gonna mop it up this time because that gives you some really interesting patterns, which are a lot of fun. Like I said, you need to set this aside or you can hit it with a heat tool to help it dry. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in a dried one that I already made. This is the one that we just made together. 
This is one that I made a little bit earlier and I already have it dried so that we can continue making our card. All right, I am going to put this onto my black layer. And I'm gonna put my glue on the black layer because I've got that hole in there from that palm tree. And I don't wanna put glue all over the back of here and then have it sticking through that palm tree. So this is actually gonna work really good. And I got just that eighth of an inch border, just has that little bit of pop behind this that I love. And then I'm going to bring in this piece and I just want, so this is the end that is finished in the die. So I'm just gonna bring it in here and I'm gonna cut it off about right here. Grab my paper snips and trim that off just a little bit. That looks great, this piece I don't need. And then we're gonna add some glue and I just add my little tiny glue dots to the center of this design. We'll hold it all down nicely. I'm gonna put that right down here. Oops, I see I have a little piece stuck in here that's kind of looking goofy. Let me see if I can get that out. There we go. Make sure it's on here straight. Okay, and then I want to take my palm tree, which I've lost. Here it is. I'm going to take the palm tree, and I want that to be right in here. Isn't that just so bold and cool looking? So I'm going to snip my trunk of my tree off and add a little bit of glue. And I'm going to put that right about here. I remember we have that little scrap of the shimmer white paper. That's going to be for the sentiment. And I decided to make this a birthday card. So I've got my Memento Black ink here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a piece of mango, hang on. Here we go. I wanna use a mango. That's gonna be our card base, so I kinda of wanna carry that through to my sentiment. I'm just gonna, oh, that didn't stamp very good. Let me try it again. We got, oh, now I got an edge for Pete's sakes, hang on. I rocked my stamp a little bit. The other thing too, if you find that you've got too much rubber on here, I like to use my take your pick tool to kind of pull that label up. And then, oh, I'm looking for my scissors. And then you can bring your snips in and you can cut this off so that that doesn't happen again. Now, when you cut your rubber, you wanna make sure that you keep your scissors straight up and down. You don't wanna angle this or it won't stamp right. But don't be afraid to trim your stamps if you feel they need it. And so now I will avoid the edge that I got on here in all the future times that I use this. So I'm really good about trimming my stamps up. I wanna make my stamping experience as easy as possible. Now I'm gonna bring it into this double oval punch and I am going to use that smaller oval. So here's our happy birthday. I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. I'm using the edges here because my I use this whole sheet up. And before I do that, that essential baker's twine I'm gonna grab the black and I'm gonna wrap this around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bow right over here. So I wanna leave a tail so I can tie that bow. So I'm gonna wrap this around three times and then I bring it right up to where I started and cut it off so that it's about the same length and now I can tie that bow here. And I know that I've left myself long enough tails to be able to do that. There we go. Now I like to hold on to my loops when I'm pulling the tails down because sometimes it'll get twisted up when you pull them and it's hard to get it untwisted. Baker's twine is just like that. So I like to hold on to my loops while I'm making my bow a little bit smaller 
so that that doesn't happen. Save yourself that frustration. Now, the Take Your Pick tool is one of the tools that I use the most. I use it for a lot of things. I use it for mini glue dots, for dimensionals, all kinds of stuff. So if you don't have one of those, you may want to pick one of those up. They're, they're pretty handy. Here comes our card front. This is liquid glue. I love to use this. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room. If you need to move things, slide them around because you, you know, just glued it down and you didn't get it centered, you can, you still have the time to do that. And here's our black matte dots. Hang on, I got a fuzz in there. And again, I'm using that take your pick tool to add some of these embellishments. Oh, I didn't hold it down long enough. Hang on. Some of these embellishments on here just to jazz things up a little bit. I thought these would look nice on here. How about right there? Isn't that a pretty, pretty background? Okay, one last thing we're gonna do. We are going to use these markers and we're going to add our palm trees to the inside. Well, first I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. It says, wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. There we go. And then I'm going to take the soft suede marker and do the tree trunks of these palm trees. And then our mossy meadow to do the tops of the palm trees. And then you wanna huff on it. <sighs> like you're cleaning your glasses. Gives it just a little bit of moisture back and look at how nice that looks. Love these palm trees. Okay, we're gonna add this to the inside and then I'm gonna show you my other color combination that I made with the same technique. Oops, hang on, gotta get that centered. There we go. Here's our first, first card. Then remember we did two different colors here. And I also made this card. Which one do you guys like better? I really like the mango, but I'm always drawn to Bermuda Bay. It's one of my favorite colors. You let me know which one you like better in the comments. I'd like to hear which one you like better. But stamping with acrylic blocks, there's a lot of different ways you could do it. This is just one of them. And again, it's gonna turn out different every single time you do it. Thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to stamp with me. Please make sure you click right up here. You're gonna head over to my blog where you're going to find a list of other people, other designers that are in this blog hop. You're gonna to wanna to see how they did their acrylic block stamping because you're gonna get a lot of great ideas today. Also, if you would like to place an order with me, if you're in, in the United States, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. You can use that if you have an order under $150, but if your order's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. Make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. We have a brand new annual catalog coming up. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on that, please feel free to email me. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. I would be happy to mail you a hard copy of that catalog. I've seen it, and it's gorgeous. Thanks again, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.